Hello anybody, I am Alpagamish Roll, and this is Binding of Isaac Rath the Lamb, that's right, I'm back with another custom challenge run. This run is brought to you by Luanly1989, regular challenge run giver, uh, or maker, or creator, or hey, engineer. <laughs> yeah, alright, I'm also joined by Cam and Nick, uh, so why don't you guys say hello. I already hello. Said <laughs> okay. Good, I'm just gonna open up my Foster's beers, since that seems like this is gonna be one of those episodes. Mmm. <laughs> yummy. those episodes where you drink? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> those are the best kind of episodes, how did, really. How did it seem like that in the first, like, 30 <laughs> seconds? Well, I had the beer in front of me and it was cold, so, you know, I just sort of assumed that that would happen. Basically, by the no, way, before it, we continue here... So, because uh, you have a beer, wait, because you have a beer, it's going... that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, pretty so, much. So it had nothing to do with the way this episode started. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You see the beer, it, it just works out that way. Right. Oh, okay, makes sense. That is, right. that is the case. Um, so, by the way, uh, if these motherfuckers would just shut up for a moment, I would explain <laughs> <laughs> the rules of this challenge run involve infinite item power on the D6, and essentially I have to close my eyes every time I'm about to pick up an item and re-roll it. Uh, and then try to divine what that item was. So let's go in here real quick. Uh, we would have gotten the Spelunker hat, but I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to reroll it. I'm going to go over here. And I got... Uh, uh, health up. Because I got a health up. Sweet. There's no punishment for me not getting it right. Um, or a reward for me... Like so, getting it right. So okay, okay. Uh, I get to choose an accent for you every time you get it wrong. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I, and I every time you get it right, me and Nick have to compliment you. Well, I don't, I don't. You can't see okay. what I got, so I, I don't think you guys can know whether I got well, it right or wrong. I'll just, just randomly compliment. You're gonna have to you. go on the honor system <laughs> here. You're gonna have to tell us when you get it right or wrong. Ah, all right, okay. I, I see what you're saying. All right, let's let's take whatever this is. A blue heart, nice. Uh, let's go this way. I mean, I, again, like I said, I don't think there's any way for me to know whether or not I was right necessarily. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright, good. We got the Widow. That's fine. I can deal with the Widow. So, fellas, uh, how goes life? How was your day? Um, you know, this and that, this and there. Mm, that's not it's an answer a, to the question new, that I asked. Yeah, it's a Nordic saying. Oh, <laughs> really? Uh, this and that, yeah. this and there. Yeah, uh -huh. but no, it's more this and that, this in the air. Oh, the oh. air. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your best so. Nord accent, uh, Nick. <laughs> could, I, could we hear your Nord accent? I don't have one, but I okay. also would say this in there if I had to. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you know, interesting. Well, now he knows it's Nordic. Right, right. So obviously, you know, that's my attempt at an accent. All right, here we go. I'm closing my eyes. Reroll. Take. I have to wait five seconds. Mm, I heard a card drop, so I'm going to have to guess it's the Magic 8-Ball? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the Magic 8-Ball. Let's let's take a look. Yes, it was. So, uh, oh, compliments right. away, good bitches. Good guy, we like you. You're a good guy. <laughs> you can be in an alliance with us. Rob, <laughs> oh, really? uh, your pits are not nearly as smelly as most girls say they are. Wow, a lot of girls say that my pits are smelly. Yeah, yeah. I did but not know not that. they're not nearly that smelly. What's funny is, by the way, the whole alliance thing, uh, people are not going to understand for like two or three weeks. Because uh, we just recorded yeah, that's uh, fine. <laughs> magic videos. <laughs> but uh, in two weeks or so, you might understand where that joke comes from. So, mark this moment in your mind and on a piece of paper, and then come back and watch this video when you understand it two weeks from now. It's a time bomb. It is. It's, it's brain, a joke brain time ninja. bomb. It's, it's, like, a it's like a joke time capsule. Right. You just dig, dig, you just just dig up the joke later. The yeah. <laughs> you'll dig up the joke like weeks later and, and then understand the humor. And then except, you'll probably be like, oh, huh. Yeah, but except in this case, the same people that buried the time capsule are the same people that are opening it. <laughs> which yeah. doesn't really make too much sense. Well, I mean, no, I mean, the viewers would be burying the time capsule right now. Or I guess, I guess we would functionally be burying the time capsule, wouldn't we? You yeah, you're insulting them a little bit. You know, the viewers <laughs> burying... Are, are you guys out there watching? Are you burying a time capsule right now? You could be burying a time capsule. Have you guys ever done that or considered doing that? I've done it. 
Have you really? Yeah, we had to do in elementary school. We had to put like letters in there, and then we had to dig a little hole and put it in. Huh? Have you? I don't when, think we ever dug it back it? up, so it was pretty much useless to us. Well, I mean, you, you're you're intended to dig it up like years later. I don't Did even you? live in that state anymore, that area anymore. So. Oh wow! All right. Well. I'm not ever Someone gonna know what I put it. in there. I don't even remember. Maybe, maybe some like futuristic civilization will find it like after humans are dead, and then that'll be their Rosetta Stone. <laughs> what the dolphins? Yeah. The dolphin civilization of uh, <laughs> of the future yeah. are just gonna dig it out of the sea because the sea will overtake all they, of North America. They'll stop your heart with their bottlenose. They don't care. That's true. I'm gonna close my eyes. Reroll. Take. All right. Let's let's look. Um. You didn't guess, did you? No, I haven't guessed yet. I mean, I... I, I don't know. Um, let's say a speed-up? I'll say a speed-up? I a speedo. No, it was a tears-up. Alright, so your accent will be... Jamaican. <laughs> For how long do I gotta do this accent, man? Uh, until the next floor. Until the next floor, man. Really? Yeah. Okay. That ain't or so the bad. next item. Okay, next item. That's even better. Next actually. item, I like that better. Um, should I re-roll the devil room? Am I allowed to do that? Ma. Yes, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, I did it. Uh, I don't really want it. Alright, off we go. Wait, I mean, you gotta guess! Uh, you, you... <laughs> no, no, I didn't actually pick up any of the items, man. Yeah, but Not that part doesn't of the mean rules. you didn't find an item. No, but I... Well, well yeah, it does. I... <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to really guess what item it was unless I picked it up, man. Other than looking at it and seeing Wait. what it is, and then knowing what it is. What? I don't understand. You lost what you me. Just said. I don't even <laughs> know what we're talking about anymore. I, I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't either. So you're supposed. Bumba clot. Bumba clot. Yeah. Well, it's whenever I, I pick up an item, man. Bumba clot. Yeah, but you don't re-roll. You don't pick it up and then re-roll it. You're supposed to re-roll it. Chill, Rasta. Just you, you know what, Rob? You're you're. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the video, then. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's, done that's with I'm not shit. done with him yet. <laughs> oh well, Nick gonna stay around. Cam's gone. No, I, no I'm done with you actually. I oh know. okay, <laughs> Nick gone too. I don't know why. Jamaicans that can't talk or something. Nigun <laughs> too. <laughs> All right. Uh, you well, I didn't manage to get another key, unfortunately. Rasta. <laughs> Rasta man. <laughs> Is that a thing? Do Jamaican people just say Rasta sometimes? <laughs> Did you say Bumbaclot all the time? Oh. I wonder if I have any Jamaican viewers, or if there's Opie. any internet in Jamaica. Shots fired. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry to any of my Jamaican viewers, Bombaclot. Um, that's all you should know. I didn't get any keys on that floor, which kind of blue. Blue, uh, blue butt dicks. Blue da ba dee. Yeah! Blue I would die. Blue da ba dee da ba dee da ba dee da ba dee. one of those you know, things is like the most annoying trivia ever because people always have to tell you that's a song about killing yourself. Is it really? Oh, I guess you haven't been around those people then. Yeah, I pretty <laughs> no. much hear that every time that song gets mentioned, somebody has to say that. It's a song about killing yourself? It's How? a song about suicide, at least. I don't know. I gotta look up the lyrics. I always forget. What not it like, if I'm blue, if I was green, I would die? Or was that, like, always the lyric that wasn't really known of whether or not that was the actual lyric? Yeah, I, I think it's something like that. People don't know what it says. Hmm. That seems real stupid to me. Another thing that's stupid is I know like all the lyrics to Dawson's Creek, yet I've never ever watched that show. So that seems weird. But you know all Actually, the lyrics to a TV show? <laughs> yeah. It was a, it, it Wait, was one of TV... those TV show slash songs. Hmm. So. Dawson's Creek is a song? <laughs> yeah. Well no, it is that is that one like really famous song for its intro. How did that guy move and get what? I thought you were gonna sense. sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> I <can't laughs> if you said I believe in a thing called love in that voice, you would have just won over my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in a thing called love. 
Just as it is my heart! I could go that high in octaves. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. I tried my best. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, by the way, viewers, I'm slightly drunk. So, uh, you know. Yeah, that's probably why my eyes in, plays Two bad. beers in, Rob's drunk. I'm not two <laughs> beers in. I am 40 <laughs> ounces of beer in, all right? Yeah, sure. And sure. I don't drink that often, so 40 ounces is a lot oh, for me. God. <laughs> now now that I need to go look out and find if that rumor was true that the song is about killing yourself, the only facts I can find on it are that it wasn't designed by the Blue Man Group. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, why would someone think it was designed by the Blue Man Group? Was I don't like, know. Like, like they created Colin that myth. band. <laughs> I don't <laughs> they, like, know. They like created a band, made it popular so that they could make that song that would intro <laughs> the Blue Man Group into, into popular culture. That'd be amazing if Blue Man Group did that. It's like so. conspiracy theory shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I mean, how much more would you really want to watch Blue Man Group if they were all wearing tinfoil hats? Less. Also, does, <laughs> does anyone know why we made a switch from tin to aluminum? Why did that happen? Anyone know? Uh, why, why, where uh, did commodity come prices? From? Well, yeah, like tin foil. You say tin foil, but it's made of aluminum now. So, oh, you know, it's aluminum know. foil. It's not made of tin anymore. I, Whatever. I anyway, I have to close my eyes. Can you say both? Well, I mean, but it's not both. You can only buy aluminum. Reroll. Well, people say tin foil, and they mean aluminum foil. I know. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, okay, right. We got a. We actually got a um, space bar item. So that means we have to reroll again. All right, reroll, take. Okay, so now I have to see what I got. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I got uh, mom's eye. Mom's eye. Yes, indeed, I did. Compliment away, bitches. Oh, I just got a text, you guys. I feel so special. Did you? Yeah, I, popular I don't man. ever get texts. But you know, <laughs> I always get texts. I'm very popular. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Is that you? you your fake popularity to uh, 3,000 people is important to you? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Hold on, I'll tell you who it's from. Uh, it's from Sam Webster, of course. Oh, look at that, oh, Sam good Webster. Sam. Good Sam. <laughs> Sam. Classic Sam, sending Classic text Sam. messages. He always he likes sending knows. text messages. He knows we're recording Isaac right now, and he just sends That's it true. anyway, because it's Sam. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Sam. Classic. Oh, <laughs> Classic man. Sam. Oh, Sam Webster. My god. Uh, no, in all seriousness, I actually do know Sam in real life. He's real funny. You'd oh. like him, Nick. You'd like him. He's a good guy. Well, you um, made my joke way less funny. It's yeah, I did. Fair. I did. Yeah. You're out well, of the Alliance. I was, I'm not in the Alliance anymore? No. That's not fair. What'd I do? Just because I want to add Sam to the Alliance? Yeah, I did poke the bear. Again, these are all time capsule jokes. <laughs> they will make sense two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, you'll you'll look back and be like, "My God, I realize why that was funny." It's like Pulp Fiction, you know. At the beginning, we set it up with the whole little diner scene, and then at the end, we're like, "I remember when that happened." <laughs> exactly. It makes, feel, it makes you feel like positive reinforcements happening all the way around. Everybody and here is supporting you in this process of learning about this subject we're talking about. And now I've officially likened my YouTube Let's Play series to Pulp Fiction. I have accomplished all the goals that I have set out for myself uh, in my life. Uh, I'm as good as Quentin Tarantino. Uh, in fairness, it, like, probably in comparison to how good Quentin Tarantino is to making movies, I'm just as good as make, at making Let's Plays, so... Mmm, uh, that's not true, but yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's probably not true. I wonder what would make like a really like good like what makes a really good let's play. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I, sh I should know at this point, shouldn't I? But uh, I absolutely don't. Four hundred right. in, you have no idea. <laughs> no clue. No clue what makes a good let's play. Um, well, I mean, people seem to like it. What was that? What's that quote? Where, oh, oh uh, that's, sex uh, is a good thing unless you're having sex with your mom. Oh, that was a good quote. Yeah, yeah was that, that was Confucius. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I'm going to close my eyes, reroll, take, yeah, let's wait a little bit, open my eyes, 
I have a spacebar item. God damn it. All right. Well, you didn't guess. Why aren't you guessing? Well, I, I can't get if it's a spacebar item, I can't guess. I have to just take a new item. So let me close my eyes, reroll, take an item. Well, I know that's the one up, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep moving on here. Uh, just because I can hear the All noise. Right. I can go to the compliment shop. Compliment you. Yeah, compliment away. <sighs> oh, it's Rob. Just... You have the uh, the big toes of a god. Yeah, that's <laughs> really. <laughs> what makes <laughs> of a god? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what makes a big a god's big toe different from a regular big toe? It's very large. Like imagine it's Zeus's big toe. So big. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Can it's Zeus massive. like change his shape? No. no, no, he's just massive. He doesn't need to, because he'll crush you with his big toe. Oh, wow, okay. So my big toe is large enough to... Uh, I feel like you, you've uh, unleashed uh, some knowledge that I didn't want the world to know about my horrible <laughs> disorder of my giant big toe. Uh, <laughs> called giant big toe syndrome. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep, well, now uh, if they ever see your shoes and wonder why they all have holes in them, they'll understand. Yeah, yeah, that I chopped off my big toe but not before my shoes were pierced by them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking so you could accommodate your shoe with the toe sticking out, but sure. Oh, okay, they were seeing my shoe separately. I thought we were yeah. assuming that they were seeing my shoe with my foot in them, but yeah, that yeah, makes sense. See your shoe however you gotta see your shoe. What's, what's Cam trying to say right now? Yeah, no, Cam. I gotta do a compliment. Um, oh, yeah. Rob, your, your hair is greasy enough to cook a delicious soul food meal. A delicious soul food meal. Yeah. What is a delicious soul food soup, soul food meal, Cam? Do you, do you know what soul food is? I do know what soul food it's is. It's a meal I'm of that, you know. and it's delicious. Yeah. So what's wow, soul food? Why don't you good. Why don't you explain it for us? Uh, it's like comfort food, like uh, fucking greasy, nice Southern food. Biscuits, biscuits, yeah. and and uh, yeah, he's just he's right. I just thought thought of it as like that that one movie, Soul Food. Yeah, but like, what was that movie about? Probably about greasy southern food. Have Did you guys ever heard of chicken fried steak? Yeah. What the hell yes. is that about? Do you fry steak in, like, chicken fat or something? Like, what is chicken fried steak? Do they, like, force uh, a chicken and, and a cow to, like, make a horrible aberration and then cook that? Yeah, you didn't know? <laughs> oh, really? It's messed <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, it's a common it's... practice. It's steak, I believe, that's, like, fried with the topping that you would put over, like, chicken to make, you know, like, buttermilk chicken, fried chicken. Hmm. What is buttermilk know, chicken, fried chicken? The, 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 you know, the topping on it, the coating, the fried bit. Hmm. Like flour? Yeah, it's just dipped with coating on it. Oh, so it's just coating? Jesus. <laughs> it's just flour and codeine on a steak equals chicken fried steak. Wow, that seems like a messed up meal. And then they I throw some gravy on that. it, too, for good measure, because, you know, frying it wasn't enough. Right, right, yeah, that's fair. Um, that it sounds... pretty damn good. Does it? Yeah, I have a I've never. Right I don't think here. I've ever seen it. Uh -huh. I would eat that. I should insert an image of uh, chicken fried steak. You guys, write down 1827 and remind me. <laughs> in after after I, while I'm editing, I gotta put in a picture of a chicken fried steak right How now. How can you do that? Well, Nick I just sent it, it to you in Skype. All right, nice. Uh, okay, close my eyes, reroll, take, and then wait. And now, um, I don't know. A tears up. I got. Oh, I got a health up. I'm dumb. All right. All right, Samuel well. L. Jackson. <laughs> I don't want any of these motherfucking items on my motherfucking... I have to actually re-roll the Crown of Thorns, which is a great goddamn item, and I'm very sad that I'm going to have to re-roll that, so I'm going to close my eyes, I'm going to re-roll it, I'm going to take this. Oh, yeah, and then I don't have to... I don't have to... I don't have to do the accent anymore. And uh, oh, I have the uh, the miter. I have the miter. Uh, and I don't. I have the scapular. So uh, go ahead and and uh, you know give me another accent. Okay, you are a you are a a southern uh, evangelist. A southern oh, so like the that. same accent. <laughs> 
No, but Ooh. it's the inflection, man. It's like you're preaching. Yeah, right, right. Oh, loaded, loaded. I ain't got no keys for me to go to this item room and get done with this goddamn. Well, I, I wouldn't say goddamn. Well, you're not I'm still Samuel right? Jackson. Yeah, I don't know what a southern evangelist sounds like, do I? <laughs> you gotta yeah. do a lot of little quiet whispers and then build up into a booming voice where you then talk about Jesus. So it looks like I'm looking for a key. And if I find that key, if I find that key, oh, loaded Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Lord, will I find me an item and be done with this voice? Reroll. I guess you went Southern Baptist. Yes, <laughs> the best I got. All right, let's let's take this. Um, it's probably enough time, and uh, it's a spacebar item. Okay, well then I'm gonna go ahead and reroll again. Close my eyes. Take the item. Okay, probably enough time now. Uh, I uh, a tears up. Ba okay, we have uh, we have bombs. Okay, we have okay. So give me another accent then. God damn it. Uh, you are now uh, Nick. You choose one. Canadian. <laughs> oh, oh, good. So basically, I just have to uh, speak in a normal accent, except every time I say a, a boot, I have to say a boot. And uh, talk about my love Wait. for mooses. Every time it's you a say challenge. a boot, you have to say a boot? Yeah. That's you how I say a boot. great character just to explain hey. it, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you guys like maple syrup, don't you, eh? Sorry, that was a bad I, joke. I find this highly insulting, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Do ya, A? Yeah. I just find it more entertaining because we have like a dozen Canadian friends, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's good. It's good making fun of Canadians, eh? Alright, I'm gonna close my eyes, reroll this item, take it, and let's go and make a guess here in a moment. Okay, um. Uh, I don't know. Drop a bomb. Do I have a heart? I have two lives. I don't know. Tears up. We got a syringe of some kind. So we have another accent. All right. Uh, you are a a Persian astronaut. A Persian astronaut. <laughs> it's so specific. What? <laughs> what of my accent defines? I don't. I don't even know what a Persian sounds right, like. Can I give him? Can I give him yeah. one? Yeah, go. Yeah, Miss Swan. <laughs> she looking like a man. I haven't Great. heard a Miss Swan in a long time. But I know that if I say she looking like a man over and over again, I feel yeah. like. I, I feel like Miss Swan uh, might be a reference that people don't get anymore. It's okay. We get it. It's funny. <laughs> they should go watch videos on YouTube about it because it's available that's there. That's true. There was one really, really funny Miss Swan bit that I saw where she uh, she like, had an internal monologue where she's like, <laughs> say, say that he had fiery eyes that... <laughs> Burned like the the fires of the sun. Say that his his brow was deep like an ocean, and then and then, and then it has her saying, "He looking like a man." Yeah, it's exactly like the, the trailer for the the Borderlands Psycho DLC. I don't know if you guys saw that, but if you haven't, go watch it. It's basically the same story, only he just says random shit. Oh really? Yeah, I had not seen that. Yeah, the psychos apparently in Borderlands, they actually can speak just fine in their own heads. It's just when they try to talk, everything that comes out comes out as gibberish. Really? At least according to this guy. I don't know if it's true 100% of the time. Well, I swapped floors, so now that means I don't have to do that accent. But the game appears to be frozen, so I'm going to take some sips of beer. You guys hold oh. up a conversation with each other. Uh, is it the white pink or the white or the pink glitch? It's, it's the white pink glitch, yeah. The wink, the wink glitch. Yes, exactly. 
Ah, oh, delicious, delicious beer. Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. He's a good, good actor. I believe it's actually pronounced Dinkle Age. Did you get a new item yet? In... No. Since the last? Well, then you're still Miss Swan. No, no, I, I swapped floors, so... Ow. Yeah. So... It's every time I pick up a new item or I swap floors, so... Bullshit. Luckily, I don't have to talk like Miss Swan anymore. I did it for a while, admittedly. Yeah, I got about a two or three sentences worth, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did it. I did it. I had I had the whole monologue with Miss Swan. It was a good one. I liked it. Um, did you guys hear that uh, that Cam is a big fan of butts? No, I didn't hear that one. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, there's like a bunch of uh, a bunch of like crazy protests happening around the world right now. Like, is it I don't, about the Xbone? Uh, yeah, everyone's just like, man, I really hate the Xbone. Actually, speaking of which, uh, I don't want to burn any bridges here, but uh, did you guys see Angry Joe's interview with uh, with Major Nelson from Xbox? I didn't see Angry Joe's, but I saw another interview with him, not oh, really? by that person. Uh, what happened with Angry Joe? It was just the most passive aggressive interview ever. It was so. Oh. It was like it was like like seconds away each time from them all just like going to fisticuffs. Oh shit! It was hilarious. <laughs> it was just like so ridiculous. It was like the funniest thing to watch because it was just so. It was. It almost should be on r slash cringe just because it actually right. does make you cringe. Just thinking about it. All right. So well, the one I saw and... was a woman that was representing Reddit. Actually, was asking highly voted questions to him, and then he would promptly kind of dodge them. But I guess that's just oh, how really? PR works. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the relic. I got the relic. Okay, so compliment away, bitches. Um. Okay, Nick, you first, as usual. Yeah, your uh, <laughs> your bladder is so cavernous that the stream of urine you produce would choke a horse. Hmm. Wow. That's yeah. It's, I mean, it's not it's wrong. Very nice. Yeah, um. <laughs> I I will go on. I will carry on the the organ theme. And I will say that your liver is so large it could feed a small African village for a week. Wow. What <laughs> defines a small African village? This is of... relatively small relative to the other African villages. So how small is that? <laughs> Touch the question. <laughs> uh, that's pretty small, man. You should work in PR. Is what you should do. Hey Nick, did you know that Cam writes for reality TV? Oh, I have. I think I've heard that. What are some yeah. of the shows you've worked on again? No, I've only worked on one show, oh. and uh, <laughs> because I, I just I just got this job like a couple months ago, and it's a it's a weird show. Uh, it's about uh, basically it's like one of those shows where it's like look at how wild and crazy these guys are that run this shop, kind of thing. Uh -huh. and, you know, I'm not in love with it, but. I shouldn't say that. I love it. <laughs> and, no, I, you love added it. Added to the blackmail drive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's it's just uh, like about uh, this like clothing store. It's and uh, you know it's got like a lot of hot women on it, and they're all like, "Oh, we're so crazy!" But it's like super sexual all the time. So most of my job is like cutting out the things that are too sexual. Uh huh. Uh, that's what I did recently. I have to make like a sizzle reel, uh, and and they you, basically you to take out the sizzle from. Yeah, it. to take out the sizzle. No, it was, sorry. You're you're in charge of removing sexuality from this. Uh, not really. No, that's not like my main job. But I do a lot of that. Like, I just choose what would be the best. Like my yeah. only job that I've done for them so far uh, was basically just choose what best represents the show and make it into like a little uh, -huh. uh kind of compilation of shots oh, okay no it just seems like a conflict of interest because i know you're kind of into you know butts and stuff boners so. yeah mostly boners, boners and, butts. Mm -hmm. and uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's 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 a good job it's a good job it pays well <laughs> excellent how, how much does it pay uh i'm not entitled to say rob <laughs> are you not or no. do you just not know yet uh, no, I know. I got I got a, a decent check. Oh, that's good. 
It was uh, it was enough to fuel me for like probably a couple months. You know that like uh, last time I mentioned that uh, people were like, well, firstly people were like Cam has a job, and then <laughs> but after that they were like they were like wait a second he writes for reality TV doesn't that seem sort of oxymoronic? You guys didn't really think that reality TV was like real, right? Well, no, like, here's the thing, here's the thing. The, it's not written, like, we don't give them a script and say, oh, here's all the crazy things you're going to say today. It just right. is like, what will happen is it's, they it's play like themselves. Poorly written, it's poorly written improv for bad improv actors, kind, essentially. Uh, sort I think it's of, just not a, really. Okay, here's the thing. It's a sequence of events that you're guiding them through, right? Yeah, and they exactly. act as themselves through the whole thing. Exactly. They say what they want to say no matter what, right? Uh, but w there will be times where it's like, all right, today you guys are going to this place, and that and that's what you'll do today, and it it might be something crazy that they're doing, but uh, you know, you're just giving them the framework for their characters to come out through. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. But so obviously, basically, obviously everyone on camera is shit. not themselves, right? Yeah. So it's not like it's written, but it's uh, set up. It's weird yeah. that the, this thing exists where people who are on reality TV become a character of themselves who aren't themselves anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Just in the, a lot the of ways, of observing changes the situation. Yeah, in a lot of ways, though, we are as well, right? I mean, I, I am sure. sort of myself, but I am sort of a caricature of myself when I do these videos, you know? Yeah. In a way. Like, I'm not yeah, always I would, on. I would put that I'm playing am, myself I... in the credits, sure. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, like I, I'm... It's sort of like uh, that new movie that's coming out with Seth Rogen and... Uh, this uh, is the end? His name is. Yeah, this is the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just as good and humorous as that will be, is watching this these videos. It's well, it's on the same level as, as Quentin Tarantino, so obviously, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. So, you know, same same basic premise there. Uh, same production values as well, uh, mm -hmm. fun fact. You know, they cost just as much money to make that movie as it does to make uh, these Let's Plays. Right. So, it's incredible you know. that you're still putting out that money day after day, and yet... I, you know, it's amazing. Hey, <laughs> YouTube money, am I right? Jeez. Yeah. So oh, good, yeah, it's it's good, but it's not as good as all the bitches, to be honest. Right, right, yeah, no, yeah. that that just goes my like my ability to have such an amazing show, social life because of this <laughs> is just you know it, it just it, it just you know dwarfs everything else. You can't even find words to describe it. Is essentially where we're going. Right, right, precisely. Yeah, right, let's go fight this boss. This is a long run. This is a really long run. I, I want to say had that an it's... accent in a while. Uh, no, I haven't. But I, but I haven't had any items that I had to pick up. Oh. So, you know, that's that's sort of why. Uh, I'm I'm sort of glad for that though, uh, because as I get more drunk, uh, the... oh come on, he went all the way. Um, as I get more drunk, he's gonna go all the way, and I don't want that. Um, you know, no. Oh, but you're gonna I... he's gonna take advantage of you now. He is. He is. Yeah, yeah. I have been taken advantage of by girls before, by the way. Yeah, I, I just sure want to put have. that out there. I want to let I want to let that be known. It happens. It happens. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It totally does. Yeah, unless like if it's like if you get roofied, then yeah, sure. Well, I'm not I'm not saying that I was raped, but I'm saying that I was taken advantage of in what my way? drunken state. Well, I mean, in in situations in which I. Normally wouldn't have acted in the way that I did. I was forced you into were a drunk? situation. Well, yeah. All right. Well, boo fucking who? Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I'm oh, just saying. Oh man, yeah. this girl one time, she got me drunk and then had sex with me. It's <laughs> it, could be, it could be a real thing. There are reasons socially why that could be real bad. And yeah, I don't think you should downplay the fact that some people do have serious problems like that. Yeah, exactly, Cam. What the fuck is wrong? I, with I'm you? not downplaying anyone else's problems, but Rob's. All right, it's <laughs> probably fair. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably a fair assumption to make. Oh, we got our first uh, trinket. Look at that. We got the matchstick. That's good. Oh god. All right, we're on the Necropolis, which is, you know, uh, slightly dangerous. Slightly dangerous. Um, oh, yeah, the one thing that I wanted to mention, actually, because uh, I mentioned the protests, I, I, you know, I mentioned, actually, or 
I sort of sort of mentioned the protests around the world. I mostly was trying to aim at what's happening in Brazil right now, which I was clued into by uh, someone on Twitter. Uh, apparently there's like a big protest in Brazil right now, but it's sort of being, you know, not talked about because of all the shit happening all over everywhere else. Um, so, you know, that's, that's an interesting thing. If you want to find out more about that, really, just type in hashtag change Brazil on Twitter and you'll find a bunch of tweets from uh, leaders of those, those groups. But, you know, so... Uh, there's that. Also, another thing, another news story that I read was Ahmadinejad is out in Iran, and uh, a new guy, a reformer, is the uh, head of Iran right now, which is kind of crazy. I think. I don't know. Reformer! Lick your boom boom down! That's all I have to add to that. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad, I'm glad that's the uh, cogent and uh, insightful commentary I have from the guests on this show. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I found that pretty crazy. I mean, apparently he's he's not like everyone else, so, you know, that's good, at the very least. That's what they all say. Wow, he's not like everyone else? That's amazing. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, he's completely Every, he's unique. Not, he's nothing like anyone in the world. Baby, no. you're not like anybody else in the world. <laughs> that's what he said. Same thing. That's true. That's true. Have you not gotten uh, an item in forever? Um, no, I haven't. Not an item that I could actually do the challenge run on. Like, uh, people might be angry, perhaps, that I have been taking, like, shop items and stuff, but there's no way that I can take a shop item that I want to buy and then, like, re-roll it or anything, because it can't be a spacebar item, and if it's something that I know that I want... You know what I mean? It's it's just hard to do with that. So I'm just kind of reserving it for items that I like am I, I can be forced to take. If that makes sense. No. <laughs> so no, no not really. Yeah. No. All right. Yeah. No. All right. Fair enough. No. Fair enough. Well, maybe my wonderful viewers will understand exactly what's going on. By the way, I, I, you know, you guys don't know, but I'm actually playing as like this wispy cloud type thing right now. I'm not actually like Isaac or anything. I'm kind of crazy looking. Why are you a wispy clown? Uh, because that's what the run called for. Hmm. How do you so, do that? Uh, basically you take five, uh, thin- Oh god! Thin, uh, odd mushrooms, the skinny fire rate odd mushrooms. Um, because that removes your head. And once your head is removed, then you just take, like, the dead dove or something, which turns your body into, like, this wispy cloud type thing. And, uh, you just look like a wispy cloud monster. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad I good, asked. <laughs> good to know. I shall use that information mm. in the future, likely. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. There's a lot of Doctor Who uh, lovers in the uh, in the chat. It seems. And you know what? I actually learned from someone else that uh, that I got uh, I got a couple people into like a bunch of really good shows, which I am glad. I'm glad to do, if, if anything that this channel has done, if it's gotten a few people into a bunch of, like, really good shows, then that's awesome. And also, I want to be sponsored by Breaking Bad. So, <laughs> Is that know. a thing that happens? Do they just sponsor YouTubers? Maybe I don't know, be they the first. should. That would be amazing. I mean, I brought them at least four viewers. So. Oh, yeah. No, you can't argue with those numbers. I mean, what is that to them? That's like, that's like a whole uh, four-tenths of a cent or something? Four tenths of a cent. Well, I know how much it is for me, and I think yeah. that's pretty generous, what you just described. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they probably make more per viewer, though. Hold on, I'm gonna, I, gotta, I would think, yeah, I would re-roll and... I think I did it. I'm just gonna re-roll again, just in case I didn't hit it. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay. We have a spacebar item. Okay, so I'm gonna have to re-roll once more. Re-roll. Take. And probably time. Okay, so I got something. It's not a familiar. Uh, shit. Um, doesn't look like it tears up. I don't feel any faster. Am I more rangy? Not really. Um. 
Do I have homing bombs? There's really no way to tell. Ah, let's say it's a damage up. What did I get? Oh, it doesn't tell me anymore. Well, I have too many items, so I, I can't know anymore. So I'm just going to have to go out on a limb and say that I was right. So go ahead and compliment away, fellas. Uh, All right. Uh, your ability to speak very quickly would make you a good auctioneer. <laughs> That's true, you're right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you probably would come at least third in an eating competition. That's nice, yeah. I mean, I, I probably would, at, at least. You can win money at, from those, so that's not that bad of a compliment. This was a round of mostly positive. That's Yeah, that's good. I mean, y you know, uh, apparently there's this whole... I found this the other day. Not the other day, but... Uh, it's, 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 it's the kind of thing like comedians do. It's like, hey, I was over at the mall the other day, and then I found out. I was like, no, you weren't. You're just making that shit up. <laughs> but I did find on YouTube um, that uh, that there's this whole sect of YouTube, which I didn't realize. It's not actually super popular, but there's this whole sect of YouTube that's devoted to just eating things. Not cooking things, just eating yeah. them. For some reason. It's like, it's like sort of like competitive eating, except not really. Like, because they're not really competing with well, anyone except for themselves? Do you know Dame Drops? Because his thing is he does fast food reviews where he goes to various places and sits in his car and eats food, and he's well, quite entertaining, actually. What's amazing about Dame Drops is he actually basically... I, I feel like... I don't think he invented that subgenre, but I think he sort of made it popular because there's sure. a lot of food review, like, channels now. Like, I don't right, think he was the first, but I think he was the most popular. But in turn, really, Shmo Yoho made it popular by propping him up, because that's where he got famous from. That's true, yeah. I mean, I think for most people, he got famous through that. But I I, I actually saw the original video. Uh, whoa, that's, that's whoa. Why I, uh, yeah, I'm a hipster about it. No, 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 but I mean, like, obviously not, because I saw it through Reddit, but, uh, yeah. but then I saw the remix afterwards. But, you know, so, so uh, you know, I, he, he probably got a pretty good following on his own accord, I would think, uh, Dame Drops. You know, not um, not even with the remix. Like, as I mean, far I as I can remember, I think he only had a few thousand followers or subscribers back then. Oh, really? Uh, or at oh, least God. basing basing it on how many views his uh, individual videos had before that. Oh, back then. Out. Yeah, like the day I remember when it first came out, like he had I think like two thousand subscribers at the time, so he wasn't particularly uh, prolific before that Five Guys Burgers and Fries review. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm drunk and I don't listen to people, so that's you know right. that's that's how that's how it works, really. Uh, but uh, y you know, I've watched some of his. I know he does like sponsored reviews now, which is a little bit interesting. Because uh, it's I haven't like, kept I'm, up like, with it as much. I haven't either, and I feel kind of bad about it. I haven't also kept up with uh, overly attached girlfriend because you know she has her own channel now too. I thought she was uh, just a single meme image on Reddit. I didn't realize there was anything more to it. No, did you actually not see the original video? Maybe not. Ah, see, that's where Overly oh. Attached Girlfriend comes from. Is there's a video. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I have to close my eyes, re-roll, pick up, wait a couple seconds, and then look. You know. Oh! I'm going to say it's a tears up. And okay. I don't know. I can't tell if I'm right. So go ahead and compliment, bitches. All right. Um... You, uh, your smell could attract a lot of bears to a bear hunting community. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, that sounds really bad, actually. <laughs> that feels like that's, I mean, I guess it's good for the bear hunting community, but uh, not necessarily good for the bears. Or just you, anytime you go into a forest. I guess so, yeah. I mean, do I... Well, I mean, I, they don't, they're not attracted to me, they're just attracted to hunters, really. So, I mean, like, even if the bear is near me, like, I'm not in danger from the bear. Really, the, the bear suddenly becomes endangered <laughs> by the, by the, <laughs> by the bear hunters. Why? <laughs> because they go towards the smell of the rifles, I guess. Uh, the smell of the rifles, uh, I, <laughs> am I, do I smell I like know. menstruation? It's not too late, if you want. 
too. <laughs> Um, I'm going to say your leg hair is so mighty that if you combed it out straight and cut it, you could make a really lovely sweater. <laughs> I probably could, you're right. I mean, in fairness, I am an alpaca, so, you know. Yeah, that's what I had in mind. A transcontinental right, right, yeah. alpaca named Ingrid. That's true, a transcontinental alpaca named Ingrid. Cam, you should play Alpaca Run, it's a great game. Uh, yeah, alright. And by a great game, oh. I mean it's like barely a game, but it's, it's like a five-minute still... long music video. But it's really fun. yeah, <laughs> it is. It, it's okay. really good. <laughs> All right, we'll do. Are you gonna do it right now? No, no, of course not right now. Uh, I I likely will never do it. Uh, yeah, right. That's that's that would right. be my guess. If you're real lazy, yeah. you could just watch my video of it because I played through the whole thing. Okay, that's true. That sounds much better than playing it. Yeah. Or you could watch my oh, video. Oh, yeah, you have, you have a video cooler. up it on yeah. your channel. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. No, actually, you know, you know what's funny is Zen has an entire Let's Play of this um, of this game called uh, Paka Plus, which oh. is a... The dating this, one, right? Yeah, yeah, the Japanese dating sim where yeah. you just play as an alpaca. Actually, to be more clear, you play as a girl who is magically transformed. Uh, I'm sorry. A violinist who is magically transformed into an alpaca, and then has to date people. Hmm. That's a strange fate to have. Why? Happen. Okay, it's... hold on. After you get turned into an alpaca, what exactly makes it so that you have to date <laughs> someone? You know, I think the answer to a lot of these concerns with games like this is because Japan. Yeah, I would have thought. Same. I, I, I really don't think that there's another way to describe the reasoning for it. The impetus uh, the way, is Japan, dead. yep. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I can probably. Wow, we got a we got a blue rock out of that. That's pretty lucky. You mean a tinted rock? And a way out. Nope, blue rock. I call it a blue rock. And viewers on this channel know it as blue rocks. Oh well, I have my allegiances, so my terminology comes from you know who. Right, right. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> we don't speak his name here. This <laughs> is not, not, not allowed. Not, shall not be named. <laughs> he, should, he probably should be named. I'm talking about Northern Lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Represent. I will never represent. Never! Shots will be fired here. No, but I, I actually, you know, it's sort of like... His, uh, his terminology for things... Oh, I, I have to reroll this. Hold on. Um, is, is kind of accepted as the proper terminology for things. And I guess right. that's fair, because Edwin McQuillan doesn't really care about his terminology for things. Anyway, let me close my eyes. Reroll. Take. That's a one-up again? I mean, that sounded like a one-up, but I didn't get an extra life, so I'm wrong. So I guess go ahead and give me a accent. Um... You are... A... You're a I'm monk. A You're a monk from Philly. What? What? What is that? You're a monk mean? from Philly. Or you could do a valley hey, girl. Uh, sure. I. <laughs> yeah, you're a valley girl monk. From Philly. No, you're not from Philly. You're just a, va a valley girl, Rob. You know what a valley girl is? From the valley. Well, I mean, I understand that valley girl is supposed to traditionally mean from the valley, but I think at this point, valley girl is really more of a culture than it is uh, a group of people that are situated in a particular area of the world. You're a valley girl, Rob. Let's not okay. talk to... <laughs> um, you guys should totally, like, believe in Jesus. No, because... no, what? <laughs> monks don't... Do monks monk? believe in Jesus? Yeah! Monk... They're... Yeah, there are monasteries what? for Christianity. I think the implied thing is monk means Buddhist. Buddhist, okay. Um, you guys should totally believe in the Buddha, because Siddhartha Gautama <laughs> is, like, the coolest guy ever. And I think that the world... You guys ever see, like, those, um, like, Miss Whatevers uh, the, in the beauty pageants and just watch their compilations of things that they want Didn't in the world? Can you explain to me about the Bhagavad Gita a little bit? Do you have any information? Um, well, he's like a really cool guy, and I really, <laughs> really like him. I thought that he did a great job, and I think he's going to do a great job in the future. Um, I forgot, by the way, I saw this one video that was really funny, 
where it was just people... Oh, you know what? It was on... Uh, I believe it was on Jimmy Kimmel, where... Um, where Jimmy Kimmel just got someone to interview people on fake facts and see how people felt about it. There's like there was one where it's just like, how do you guys feel about um, Barack Obama appointing Judge Judy as a Supreme Court justice? And people were like, <laughs> and people were like, well, y you know, I I, I I understand his thinking. She is a very uh, he's a consummate professional, really, on her show. So. Uh, <laughs> Would so you consummate that? Right. Uh, I, I consummated all over Judge Judy. Me and her go like way back. You have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, because I'm on the womb, this is going to be a really long Valley Girl <laughs> accent that I'm going to have to do for a really long time. So, you're welcome, uh, viewers. Nick, um, I'm going to have to chill at the monastery. I forgot that I was a Buddhist Valley Girl. Um, <laughs> but you guys should totally come hang out at the monastery. We will, like read some texts, be silent for be hours. Silent. <laughs> this is, it'll be great. It'll be a ton of fun. You know what'd be weird is I feel like like though there there is a Buddhist monk somewhere that's a valley girl. Like I feel like that does exist. That's it. And I want... There you go. <laughs> You know what, Cam? You can go fuck yourself in the name of the Buddha. Uh, the Buddha would say that you shouldn't go fuck yourself, but the Buddha can suck my balls. The Buddha would so... probably be relatively indifferent about whether Cam should fuck himself or not. It's really up to Cam if he wants to fuck himself. That's probably a fair point, yeah. Um, that's why you should hang out at the monastery, you know? You give me those, those great quips about, you know, Buddhism... Uh, which is how it's, suppo it's supposed to be pronounced that way, which a lot of people pronounce it wrong, but, you know, I think it's important that people know the proper way to pronounce it, which is Buddhism. Uh, so it's sort of like it's sort of like you're saying but, which is so funny, but it's not, you know, you're saying bud. Uh, it's very different. Uh, I may die very soon because of this stupid Valley Girl accent, so fuck you all. Um... <laughs> Don't like you one bit. I really wish I had the compass right now. Because if I did, then I wouldn't be at one heart. And this video might almost... Oh, no! God, oh, my God. That was so crazy. And by, oh, my God, I mean, oh, my Buddha. Do Buddhist people say that? Because, like, I say that all the time. But I don't know if that's, like, disrespectful or what. But it could be. Who knows, you know? I could ask the priest or, you know, whatever it is we have. I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time at the monastery. Monks. Um, so, well, I mean, is there, but isn't there like a head monk or yeah, something? Yeah, there is. It's like monk master, master monk, monk lord. Uh, monk lord. Jesus. <laughs> it could be the monk lord. Who knows? I'll be your a, monk lord if you know I think what it's I'm called saying. called like Karmapa, if I remember correctly. Wow! Look at this guy. Yeah, he knows all the all the proper terms. That's amazing. Really impressive. That's why you should hang out at the monastery. Oh my God! I almost just killed myself. Oh, I'm so about to die. This room is going to kill me. Maybe. Um, this is kind of turning into me just talking without any sort of dialogue going on. So why don't you guys talk about something? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to see where you'd go if we just let you keep going. But yeah, sure. I, I was enjoying I, it thoroughly. Don't really, myself, personally, not a big fan, um, but, you know, the Buddha teaches that you should be a fan of everything and everyone, so, you know, I figured... It must be really awkward being a valley girl and having to give up all your possessions. How did you deal with that? Uh, well, I don't have to... Oh, shit, I have two lives! <sighs> you know, it was really tough. It was really tough at first, you know, but, like... You get used to it, you know. I mean, I still have my like iPod and stuff cuz you know, the Buddha can't expect me to give up so wait, my iPod. So if you have two if you have two lives, then you did get the one up. Well, yeah, I got the one up one time and then I I didn't get it the second time because it made the noise for the one up, but it was supposed to be the one up, but it wasn't. So I don't know what it was. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like talking like this all the time. Where the fuck is the boss? Am I right? Oh, man. Jeez. For the love of God, I really want to be done with this fucking accent. For the love of Buddha, I would really <laughs> love to know where the heck this boss is. Well, I could say hell, right? Because, I mean, like, it's not like I believe in hell, you know? I believe in, in Buddha hell, which is very different from regular hell. Uh... 
you know. I think there's a very, very effeminate Jewish man showing up in your accent now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people say that about every aspect of my life, that there's an effeminate Jewish man just showing up, you know, and I, I don't know exactly how to stop him, really. He's sort of like, uh, you know, he's sort of like the Buddha. He just, he's in every right. part of your life. For the love of God, please let me kill this boss quickly. <laughs> So that I can be done with well, this bullshit. I, yeah, I think the proper Buddhist thing to do if he shows up is just let him show up, man. It's his prerogative what he's going to do. You know, you're not right. in charge. Right, I mean, there's nothing There's nothing you could do about it. I mean, that's his, you know... Maybe he'll just come back to life as like a cockroach or something, you know? Who knows? Right. We'll find out. You know, when we all go to Buddhist <laughs> heaven or Buddhist hell, you know, then we'll know. But we don't know yet. Oh god, I got hit by a scythe. That's silly. I'm gonna die on this room. That sucks. Oh man. Yeah, but it doesn't suck that much because if you die, it's not it's not permanent. You'll just resurrect. That's true. Somehow. I'll just reincarnate as something else. All right, I'm dead. Oh yeah. fucking god! Thank God that's over. <laughs> <sighs> that was fun. That is an awkward was conflict it? of interest when you actively want your game to end so you can stop speaking <laughs> in a certain accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was I, admittedly I wasn't trying to kill myself. I know. Um, subconsciously. Yeah, part of it, is, yeah, subconsciously perhaps, and then also the alcohol, uh, right. you know, is also a factor involved. Uh, also, I mean, this video is quite long. It's over. It's about an hour long. So. Oh, Excuse those me. are the ones you gotta really hold your breath when you go to hit the stop button. Yeah, yeah. Camtasia. It's like, is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Who knows? Camtasia's we'll like, find maybe out we just won't have an episode now. today. It's all up to me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. But thank you guys for joining us. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, would you guys like to say goodbye to the viewers at home? Bye. Bye. So no, then, I suppose is the answer that I really, really got out of that. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, you can find Nick at YouTube.com slash Rockley Smile, who does, uh, you know, indie impressions. And also magic series with me, obviously. You guys probably know him from that. Um, but, uh, but you know, the, the, the indie impressions, which is actually a really good series, by the way, um, where he shows off, you know, indie games that you probably wouldn't find here in all likelihood, for the most part. Um, so, uh, I, I think I said this last time that Nick was in an episode, but, like, probably 95% of the game that Nick covers will never be seen on this channel, in all likelihood. Um, because you go way out there, don't you? Well, no, we've got stuff like the Alpaca Run, which is, I guess, the 5% crossover. Exactly, yeah, yeah, we're in, I mean, well, everybody has to cover Alpaca Run, I think. I hope so. I hope Cam does. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Cam, of course. Well, yeah. We'll yeah, see. Cam doesn't have a channel because he's a filthy scumbag and he doesn't do YouTube anymore. Even though people want him to. Yeah, well, stop putting me on around. the spot. Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have said, by the way, viewers who are excited for the re-coming to ever come, is I think if you have any chance of Cam coming back to YouTube, it's after school is over. Um, mm -hmm. Because he did it while he was on break. But anyway, all that doesn't matter. Uh, thank you to guests for joining me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, post your custom challenge runs down below, and I will do the most upvoted one. This was indeed the most upvoted one by Luan Lee, 1989, who I have to wonder, Luan Lee, were you born in 1989? Because that would be my guess. It'd be really funny if you weren't, um, and you just chose those numbers randomly. This was a good year. Yeah, <laughs> just a good year for things to happen. Yeah. The end of the 80s, That's man. Bad. It's a big era. That's true. You know what's weird about decades is, like, they don't really end... Like, the the culture of a decade ends, like, five years into the next one. Right. You know? At least, it's well, and then, then, of course, there's always the crossover to Europe. You know, the the German 80... American 80s to Germany lasted, like, well into the 90s, if not barely ended now. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's still going on right now. Maybe. The 80s in America and in Germany, where they have all the electronic music and stuff. Hey, it's a good time, man. There's nothing wrong with it. That's true. I mean, the 80s are coming back in America right now. So, like, Germany Dance. has just been in that party that whole time since the 80s. And we're just yeah. jumping back in now. We're the ones missing out, really. It's true. It's true. It's true. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Long outros. They're, they're endemic of, of these videos, and that's probably not the proper usage of endemic. But I used it. Um, so. I used it, so suck that.
<laughs> Feel free to look it up and figure out how to properly use it. You know, I've heard people say that, that, that they learn English from watching these videos. You shouldn't. I'm real bad at using the English language. Um, but anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.